Howdy! Possum Patty here. It is July 19th and I am nature journaling. It's a very hot weekend. Temperature is up in the 90s. It's very dry and boy do we need some rain. Wow, things are really growing on the sand mound. Ooh, Japanese beetles, not good. Yesterday there were two, uh, two or three little baby house friends over here, and they were sitting on this branch. Just a quick journal page about some critters that I had seen around the yard. The other day I was walking by the sand mound, and of course I didn't have my camera or my phone, and I saw a few little Wren fledglings. I'm not sure if there were two or three. I didn't want to get too close because the mother was flying around and I didn't want to bother them. But I can remember them by painting them in my journal. The other little critter that I don't have a picture of is a little brown cottontail rabbit. We were driving up the lane in the car and I saw one ahead on the road. It hopped away quickly before I can even get out my phone to snap a picture. But again, I can remember it by the little painting in my journal. We have a zinnia update. We've got some colorful zinnia flowers and one butterfly. A little update about the zinnias. These are the ones I grew from seed. They came out quite colorful and they're attracting butterflies. The butterfly that was out there was just a plain Jane, little brown butterfly. Like me, plain Jane with my brown hair. At first I thought it was a skipper called a Zabulon, but I got a little closer look and the wings looked a little bit different than a Zabulon skipper and it had almost no markings on it at all. So I tried to identify it and what I can come up with was that it was a dark brown skipper. That's the actual name of it. Or sometimes it's called the common roadside skipper. A larger dark winged butterfly that I saw on the lamp out on the deck was this red admiral. I got a quick picture of it through the sliders out to the deck. There's no right or wrong way to design a nature journal page. There are as many different ways as there are nature journalers. On this particular page, I had to work around the tail and the shadow of the tail that I did yesterday. This is the Eastern Tauhi. I decided to put most of the elements at the bottom of the page. And you notice that I have some things overlapping or in front or behind other things. Sometimes this gives more interest to a page. And I wanted to put the little birds up in the corner with a little blue sky behind them. So thanks for coming along on this little mini nature journaling adventure today. I really did want to record these little critters before I forgot about them. I think tomorrow I'll go out for a walk and check on the plants around the yard. Bye-bye.